Another thing that I want to talk about is the spiritual cognitive dissonance that spiritual people have. It's an ironic thing to me, right? A lot of y'all started off as Christians. Muslims, Jews, whatever, you name it. And then you heard a Bobby Hemet lecture. You may have heard a Phil Valentine lecture, or you just might have been scrolling on YouTube, seen a Soluminati video, something like that. Essentially, that was new information that woke you up. And then once you heard it, so what I'm talking about is astrology. People understand 12 sign astrology, but they stop with 12 sign astrology. Some of your favorite astrologers is out here talking about 12 sign astrology, which is cool. But how do you call yourself an astrologer and you don't continue to push forward with the study? Oh, you don't want to lose your subscribers and followers. So in order to keep your subscribers and followers, you're going to lie. And then not even understanding, okay, it's new information. Y'all seen the memes on social media? Your birthday is not correct. You out here claiming a Gemini, you a whole Taurus out here. You out here claiming Aries, you a whole Pisces out here. And it's very important because why is it important? Astrology is not for millionaires. Astrology is for billionaires. But if you think that your energy is misaligned by 20 degrees, you think that is going to hit right? Like, I understand you're not taking your spirituality serious. I understand you not taking your chart seriously. I understand that. But what is you taking seriously? That's my question. If you're not taking care of your inner understanding, and then how do you determine an inner understanding? By learning new information. That's the shit that woke you up from the church. You was in the church, found some new information. You woke up. The reality is conscious people all across the world hear me and hear me now. You have to continuously learn information. You cannot continuously regurgitate niggas and find yourself in comfortable spots in spirituality. Because if you're in a comfortable spot in spirituality, in reference to Venus and Scorpio energy, which we'll be talking about, is some sneaky shit at play. And that's all because you refuse to engage into the new. Because it's going to challenge you. And it's going to might say, the shit that I was on, I was on bullshit. Every day I got to wake up and say I was on bullshit, right? Every day I got to say it was a possibility that I possibly could have contradicted myself yesterday. Every day I got to live in the, and, and this is the problem, shame, embarrassment, guilt, fear of doing the wrong thing. The reality is you should wake up and know yesterday you fucked up. Somewhere, somewhere down the wrong, down the line, you fucked up. And today you making corrections because corrections equate to power. Nobody manifested millions of dollars without correcting their actions. Nobody made billions of dollars without correcting their actions. The problem is you look good. You halfway decent. You wake up and you figure like everything is just everything. But that's not really necessarily the case. If you get down to the nuts and bolts of reality, how can you change for the better? You change for the better by absorbing new information. The reality is spiritual people is not ready for that. Spiritual people want to do everything and anything besides learn inf new information. And I'm bringing this to the, it's kind of funny and ironic. Because you got into spirituality learning new information. At what point did you imagine that this person, this class, this lecture, this video, this was going to be the end or be all to your spiritual journey? And if you thought that, this is not a this is not a new car. It's worse than a new car. New car loses value. You could hold on to conscious shit and be a crazy ass person doing some shit that don't even matter. That's like you walking around cutting chickens heads open, right? The chicken filled with GMO. The chicken always going to lean to the front. The whole point of cutting the chicken's heads off to see which way the chicken was going to lean. Was it going to lean to the left? Was it going to lean to the right? Was it going to lean backwards? Every time you cut a chicken's head off, it leaned forward. So you're not even getting no divination. That's why people don't cut chicken's heads off to get divination no more because it's goddamn filled with GMOs. But if you don't understand new information, there's still people cutting chickens off. And every time they think it's to the north, every time they think it's a no, 
Every time you cut a chicken's head off is no, 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 no. It just got GMO on it. You need to figure out a new divination system. You might get some curry shells. You know what I'm saying? Do something different. Do something new. Because if you're not doing new, you are a victim of cognitive dissonance. And if I ever triggered you, it was nothing about nothing that I said. It was something within yourself that was preventing you from learning new information. And, and a lot of these conscious niggas, and it's not gender specific, refuse to learn new information. This is why they'll get on here and talk about astrology. And then they'll talk about Sidereo. And then they'll stop talking because they didn't study Sidereo. That's the only thing. They didn't study it. They didn't absorb new information. They they figured me valid. They're not going to say that I'm wrong. They're not going to say to hood mystic you're wrong. But they're not also going to say I refuse to learn new information, hood, because I've elevated myself to be in this spiritual guru. People pay me for readings. People respect me as a spiritual force out here in these streets. But that is just a small fragment of your being. The larger part of your being must be understood and this is where we're into establishing the inner life or the inner world